I'm not actually filming today, but because I'm very childish, I wanted to show you all that it is snowing. How amazing is that? Ada's gonna love it when I pick her up from school. I wasn't gonna film today, but I've just bust out a Reese tea for 350, some funky Adidas for 350, and look at this. Vintage on the jerseys tag, still with the original ticket on. MGN Metro Gold Mayor t-shirt. Single, I haven't found the price yet though. I'm actually dreading, dreading finding the price. 225. We'll have it. That is so cool. Very cool. Size large as well, nice large size. Single stitch in this bitch. Some John Brocklehurst for six. I wouldn't normally bother, but because I'm buying these bits, they're 15, 20. Might as well have a bash, haven't we? Some nice green mayors as well. Oh my God, I'm trashing the place. This could be good. No, you can get them as low as 9.99, brand new. Not gonna bother. And then pops up as a nice little Dennis Basso mink, 20 quid. I reckon I might have to get that. That's a good one that is. Let me just check condition on it. All the catches are there. No holes under the arms. Yeah, great little brand. Specialising fur coats. Probably about 70, 80. Get that listed before the new year. Excuse me, my dear. I've filled a basket up and I'm not quite finished. Do you mind if I just leave it somewhere? No, it's fine. Is that all right? I'll put it over here. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Buy it, sell it. Yeah. yeah. Although I might keep the coat. It might not keep the coat. No, I might keep the coat for myself. What is a day without a laugh? Killing it on the ladies' clothes today. A nice little hooded shawl type, what's it called, poncho thing. Katie Todd, eight pound. Should be a nice bit of dot. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's get on with that suede. That's fine. I think it's like sheepskin or something polyester i really like this as well a little single bed set two pillows two pillow cases and a quilt or a sheet oh 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 no oh no i'll have to have a look because some of these can do well i don't know what they are do you know what i mean if they're just generic crap if they're uh if they're, uh, what do you call it, fashionable ladies, should we say, they can do really well. Or why, they might just be junk, but I might just buy it because they're lovely. It's a nice set, isn't it? Let me have a look. I think I'm overplaying slightly, but I just love it with the box and stuff. It's got to add a little bit extra, is not it? Let's go for it. We've got a pile building. It's about a hundred quid there, I think. I've decided I'm, I'm just moving into women's wear, I think. Got a 30 odd quid jumper, that is. Good morning, afternoon, evening. I'm ready to. I'm ready to go now. Do you do buy now, pay later, by any chance? So I recorded that little tiny clip because I wasn't going to film today. But uh, well, this is this turned into something, isn't it? Oh my goodness! I've come over to get bags. Because bags, bags are helpful. Still absolutely kicking it down. A bit of snow. I love the I love the snow. Oh, me too. Not sure on these dad shoes though. I spent a blue fortune today, I think. Good, well done. We always love to see you. We know that. <laughs> You're our favourite. Bless. I'll take it. Oh, no, I'm all, I'm only joking. <laughs> oh my God, I've seen it. I've seen how much it is. Oh. oh, 107 pounds later, my God. It's the next day and I haven't gone through the stuff I bought yesterday yet, but I am going to go back to the charity shop today, see if there's anything else that I want to pick up. And then I'll add that to the, to the stuff when I show you. Got some good bits. Got some good bits. Freezing. I can't explain to you just how cold it is now. Oh my goodness. It's currently half nine the next day. I've just been to the charity shop again. 
went live. So if you've caught that, you've seen what I picked up. No, it wasn't. No. I'll show you. I'll show you anyway. But we've got some sales to go through now, and then I'll show you the haul. I'm probably going to do that inside the house because it is absolutely brassic out here. Brassic? That means skin, brass, knuckles, monkeys, whatever it's called. So first off, starting off with a nice little sale, we've got a bunch of Commodore 64 games, a bundle of five. I said I couldn't test these, and I've made been very clear about that. I've inspected them. There's no mould on the tape. Whenever you've got VHS tapes, cassette tapes, Commodore cassette tapes, things like that, always check on the window if you can see the reel for mould, because that's going to be your biggest indication that they are. Outpost Atlantis over on Vinted has picked these up for her husband for £9, so I massively appreciate that. Shout out to you and your husband. Ali has picked up the Moshulu shoes, paid £5 for a big bundle. These have sold for £12. Ali, I really appreciate it. I believe you're on your journey back here soon, probably for Christmas from Japan. So, good luck on the journey. £6.66, we've sold some Maya stretch trousers. Pretty decent, really, really cheap. I think the colour kind of puts these off a little bit, but I did pick up some Mayas yesterday, and you'll see what I mean about the colour difference. £6.66, I paid... £2.75. Is that it for Vinted? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Melly, one half of Stephen Melly. Not too sure who's the better half. I'm going to say Melly. Has picked up the Birkenstocks. I paid practically nothing for these yesterday or the day before on one of the videos. They were £15 reduced to £7.50. I had some credit. Used that. I think they worked out at like practically nothing. £18 they've sold for. Free postage. Melly, I appreciate it. On the way to you today, darling. I've got to check my uh, phone for this because eBay clearance, £5. £5 all in for this network wireless G Linksys thing. It owes me nothing now. I bought a big bundle, sold one of them for 28 I paid £10 for the whole bundle and all the other bits are sold as well. Well into profit there. £20.99, free postage. We've sold the G-Wagon luggage case. It's been hanging around for ages, ages and ages. Paid £5 from a car boot sale, £20.99. It's going to cost me about £4.60 to post it. I should clear about... 10 quid profit, give or take. Such a cool little piece though, isn't it? Broom, broom. The only time I'm ever gonna handle a G-Wagon anytime soon. And for £12.89, we have sold the Scooby-Doo buckle. The little clip-on thing that I got stuck to my neck and thought it was gonna be on there forever and ever and ever. Amen. I got a message. Thanks for the offer, Ricky, and the shout out of my eBay shop, Serendipitous Infinity, for my previous order of the Chatterbox books. Yes, I remember now. What a fantastic name. Sorry, I didn't make any money with that order. I didn't. I lost on that. I mentioned that I paid what I paid, sent out an offer, I listed. What, I can't remember now, but there was like, it doesn't. It didn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I love them and I can't wait to display them. Keep up the amazing work. You inspire so many of us, including myself. My husband, Alfred, and I are so glad we found your YouTube channel. It really does make our day. Take care, Ella. Well, Ella and Alfred, thank you so much. I appreciate your purchase and your kind words. I'm glad you found my channel too. I think that's all the sales, unless I'm being stupid. We're going to go inside now and go through the hall because it's too cold in here to do it. I don't want to do it in here. I don't want to. Right, I'm sure you can appreciate how uncomfortable this feels for me being in here doing this, but it's too cold in that garage right now and I can't be bothered to sit there wrapped up in all these clothing. So we're going to go through it now. Hopefully I can edit the colour grading down in the studio after somehow, but we'll see. But yesterday was just fantastic. I popped in there on the off chance like I normally do. Just have a quick little dip in there. And if I'm not going to record, I'm just going to grab some bits. But I had to record. Things just started popping off. I spent up on a few items, but we don't mind that. This is so, this angle, everything's so off. But look, you can just grant me this one. So first of all, we've got a nice jumper. It's made in Peru by Jennifer Gay. Four pound. 100% baby alpaca. You can see the sort of like individual furs and individual strands, etc. Just a really nice top. If you're into that kind of stuff, I'm not personally, but I'm not buying it for me. Four pound, there should be like 30 to 40 quid back on that one. So a lot of this stuff I need to get listed on eBay quickly because that kind of thing needs to go on the bay. Kind of like, not everybody knows about it, but certain people will. They'll find it on eBay more than anything. So eBay, even though it's being a bit of a dick at the moment, and Vinted is absolutely taking over most categories when it comes to clothing and things like that. That sounds really bad. It still has its uses. Let me see if I can fix that. There's not much I can do about it at the minute. Then for three pounds all in, we've got this. There is a there is an artist that is quite well known for doing this kind of stuff, but. This is a fitted sheet, I think it's Bonnie somebody, a fitted sheet and two matching pillowcases. 
just think they're fantastic. Very of the time, very vintage, classic kind of, you go to your grandma's house and the bed that they've got for you made up is this one. I just really like it. Three pound, I don't know about the value, maybe 15, hopefully. Another brand I've never heard of before. I learned obviously Jennifer Gay yesterday and I've learned about Katie Todd. It's like a poncho type uh, shawl all over with a hood. So you pull it over yourself and put the hood on and your arms obviously sway out from underneath here. It is a, it's a faux suede, faux leather, faux fur top. Made in China, suede, 100% polyester, pile, 100% polyester. It's a size small to medium. I paid eight pound for that. I think there's 35 to 40 back on that one as well. I did some researching while I was in the shop, you see. As I was talking about earlier, some Maya trousers. These ones were six pound, but these look a much more desirable color than them them beige cream ones, that lights come, oh my goodness. But eight pound paid, I think there's about 25 quid back on these. I'm getting absolutely hammered here. I'm getting absolutely hammered in this video. But we're gonna stick with it, aren't we? You're gonna stick by it, you're gonna watch it, and you're gonna try and enjoy it. <laughs> oh my goodness. John Brocklehurst, some nice corduroy trousers. Again, about 18 to 24, 25 pound on these. They were six pounds, six pound. Just a lot of stuff that's gonna have to go up onto eBay and Sharpish. These are pretty smart. These can probably go onto Vinted to be fair. A Reese t-shirt, really nice horizontal stripe on that one. Size medium, that was three pounds 50. Probably about 15 to 18 back. And these were really smart. They're modern, I think they're like 21, 22. 2020. They're Adidas shorts, but I think they're basketball shorts because they're quite big. It'll hit just there. Nice, like, very 90s design. They're not 90s, though, obviously, but they're a size small. If they fit my waist, I'll keep them. I don't need them to be, like, knee length. I don't mind if they rise up. The whole idea with these is, if you wore these, they'd probably cover your knees. I don't mind showing my knobblies. And this, look at this. Still with the original Disney Parks tag on the jerseys size large. £2.25 for this like 3D print, what's it called, like a, like a foam printed MGM Studios t-shirt. Single stitch in this bitch, on the sleeves anyway, not the hem. Just a really nice example. Brand new, never used, size large, fantastic. People have been getting around about $40 for these. Mine's got the tag on it. I'm going to be aiming higher than that because I'm, I'm just a greedy boy. But if I don't get any interest in it at the high price, of course, I'll drop it. And this is a brand that I'm going to teach you about. If you don't know about it already, I learned this only a year ago, something like that. And that brand is Dennis Basso. Look at this pimp daddy jacket. Oof. Let me show you. Look at that. Size extra large. Dennis Basso is very well known for doing really good quality faux fur clothing. And that is exactly what this is. I did pay 20 pounds for it, but I don't mind that because something of this caliber, like this length and this size, will sell fast for at least 60 to 80 pounds, no problem. So 20 pound paid on that. This is the brand to be looking out for if you wanna try and find it yourself. Venice Basso, just a really nice leopard lining. I think it's like a mink chinchilla fur. Fake fur, obviously. Just a cracking little find. And of course, I paid £50 for a Viewmaster set. £50. This is absolutely full of Viewmaster reels. And then there is, of course, the Viewmaster itself. And along with that was a Viewmaster light. So I'm assuming you can actually view your reels at night time. Doesn't seem to be working, but I'm sure it's just a battery issue. Yeah, light attachment for the Viewmaster. I've never seen that before. I don't know what the value on that is, but I paid £50 for everything. Now, some of these Viewmaster reels can be worth a fortune. Like, this is an Alice in Wonderland set. I'll probably list these separately. I could go through them all and list them all separately, to be honest, like one or two quid here. They'll, they'll, they'll go as a letter. One or two quid here, a large letter. Might be a few that are worth, like, five or ten pound. But if you can find the Viewmaster saucy ones, if you know what I'm saying, Viewmaster reels, I'm sure Viewmaster didn't make them. Well, maybe they did. If you can find like the, uh, shall we say, soft corn kind of stuff, my goodness, my goodness me, the money in them. 
is unbelievable. Have a little eBay search yourself. I also picked up Avon Musk for Men because it's vintage, it's old and it's £1.50 and it's pretty much full. Probably about £12 to £15 back on that one. And then I'll show you what I picked up today because I did do a live stream while I was in the shop, that was quite fun. And I'll just show you what I got. £10 we picked up a vintage Columbia titanium jacket. It's actually for me. It's a khaki one, it was only a tenner. And the reason why I picked it up was because I had £10 credit from yesterday's spend. So that, well, that was free, it cost me absolutely nothing. Just a really nice Columbia jacket, my kind of colours. It's the sort of jacket that I like to wear and I feel like I look good in it, but I don't mind trashing it. Whereas I've got North Face jackets that I love, but I would never go running through the woods in it. Do you know what I mean? Not that I ever go in the woods, but if something like that arises, I've got the coat for that now. And for £7.50, I have started to peel it off, but it started to rip the box off stops because I'm going to get a hairdryer on it. World Cup 98 for the PC. It's in there, all the manuals are in there. The box is in fantastic condition. The hologram's really looking nice. Half the reason why I actually decided to, to buy this, condition-wise, found that'll just slot straight into someone's collection beautifully. Somebody's managed to achieve £29.99 on that. Lovely. This setup is absolutely killing me, so I'm going to kill the video right here. Hopefully you've learned about some new brands to pick up. Thank you for watching. Please do check out this video here if you want to stick around for a bit. I'll see you on the next one.